I will return to a state of inactivity. Thanks for all you've done, Valimar. I'll be counting on you if anything else comes up. Acknowledged. Prepare yourself for your next encounter with the Azure Knight, my way. Don't worry, I will. We lost last time, but I know that's not all I'm capable of. As long as we're all together, I know I can get stronger. I eagerly await your results. Looks like he went to sleep. So, this is what the Great Ashen Knight looks like up close, huh? I've heard all manner of rumor about it, but I never expected I'd stand in the presence of a legend. I can't possibly begin to thank you enough. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't come to my aid. Thank you. Really. And that goes for everyone else, too. Thanks for coming to rescue me, guys. <laughs> We're just happy you're okay. Just don't scare us like that again, alright? <laughs> True. We were all on edge waiting for you to get back. <laughs> and yet you somehow managed to come out unscathed with her highness in tow. You make it sound like it was easy. Well, easy or not, it was worth going on board. I got plenty of useful info out of it. So funny enough, I'd say their invitation worked to my benefit more than theirs. <laughs> I guess there's no harm in looking at the positives now that all's said and done. Look at you, acting mature and all grown up. Brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> Looks like we have some catching up to do. I'd like to follow Reen's lead and extend my thanks to each of you as well. Thank you, all of you. And, dear brother, it's a relief to see you safe and sound. Though I never pictured my great escape would end with you in this airship, of all things. <laughs> we did time our appearance fabulously, if I do say so myself. My only regret is that we weren't able to blow in with a storm of rose petals when we boarded them. Hmm. Perhaps I should have asked Emma to look into the feasibility of making such a magnificent entrance. Hmm. Oh man! That would have been so cool! Well, it's probably not impossible. Now you're just being silly. Sounds about right for our prince. <laughs> well, at the very least, I'd say we're clear of any immediate danger. And given this opportunity, I'd like to sit down with you to discuss our situation and exchange any pertinent information. But first, I think we have a few more reunions to celebrate. Green! <sighs> Toa! George! I thought I heard your voices when we started flying away from the Pantagruel. So you were on board too? <laughs> You bet. Good to see you, Ring. <sighs> Whoa! It, it's really you. You're really okay. No sooner had we found out that you were still alive, we got told you had been taken by the Alliance. We've been so, so worried about you. I'm a real troublemaker, aren't I? Sorry, Toa, but I'm glad to see you and George made it out okay. Everything I've said to you has been at the back of my mind ever since we parted ways in Trista. And it's kept me going every step of the way. So, thank you. Oh. <laughs> you remembered. You promised me you wouldn't die. And you didn't. We still need to work on that one. But I know you're not the kind of guy who'd go back on his word. See? Reen's a guy you can count on. Nice to see you're holding up okay. Still can't believe you made it through all that fighting in Trista in one piece, but... Well, here you are. Good to see you again, George. But how'd you two end up on the Courageous to begin with? We'll bring you up to speed once we all sit down for our meeting. There's a conference room on one of the upper floors. We can meet there when you're ready.
Courageous began its independent operations right before Heimdall was first occupied. I realized what the Alliance was planning, so I gathered a skeleton crew, met with Viscount Arsade, and we hurried straight to Trista, where we found your classmates locked in combat with the Azure Knight. I see. That explains why you were in Trista. I shudder to think what would have happened if not for the Courageous's timely appearance. What have you been doing since then, Father? I hadn't heard anything about your whereabouts until now. Eventually, we were able to shake off the Azure Knight's pursuit. And we've been traveling around the country ever since, preparing to find you and take you on board. George and I haven't been here long. The Principal managed to get in touch with the Courageous without anyone noticing and sent us here. He did? I hope he's still alright. By the way, what happened to Major Vander? You two are always joined at the hip. Ah, alas, he is currently indisposed. His military obligations have him heading up the 7th Armored Division in Western Erebonia. We're working with your former instructor, Major Nightheart, as well. With him, too? So he's over in the West now. <laughs> I should have known the 4th Armored Division's ace wouldn't get his ass kicked so easily. Oh, right. Dad said he'd heard from him, too, remember? Still, the west side of the country contains Marquis High Arm Sutherland Province, along with Duke Cayenne's La Mer Province. The fighting there would no doubt be even more fierce than it is here in eastern Erebonia. Correct. A large percentage of the Imperial Army's military strength still remains intact. But the Noble Alliance forces' constant attacks have put them at a disadvantage. On top of that, a number of townships in the region have been caught in the crossfire and suffered great losses. That's terrible. <sighs> I'd heard as much, but it still pisses me off to hear it. With the 3rd and 4th armored divisions occupied on the eastern side of the country, one can only assume the Noble Alliance intends to use that as an opportunity to crush the forces in the west. Yeah, but they're not stupid. I bet the army in the West is putting up a pretty good fight by themselves. It's too early to call things just yet. An astute assessment. The situation in the Western theater could change at a moment's notice. Right. But that means we're uncertain what course to pursue now. And having said that, we have a question to pose to all of you. The question, really. With the whole of the Empire caught in the throes of civil war, what exactly do all of you intend to do from here on out? Us? We were in the midst of discussing that when Reen was taken to the Pantagruel, in fact. Hmm... This is a full-on war, and our fellow Erebonian countrymen stand on both sides. No one here is delusional enough to think that a group of students like us are capable of stopping it by ourselves. Still, during our field studies, we found ourselves up against the problems this nation faces again and again. And because we have that experience, I believe there's a place for us to change things in all this. A part only we can play. We may not be able to compete head-on with the Alliance, but together, we can move things in the right direction for Erebonia as a whole. That was wonderful, Reen. Hmm. Hmm. Still, we aren't all gathered here for the same reasons. Be it rescuing Elise or settling things with Crow, we've all got something that we personally want to accomplish. But accomplishing those things won't be possible with the situation as it stands. And that's why, no matter how stacked the odds are against us, or how fierce the fighting becomes, we want to put everything we have into making all the difference we possibly can, in whatever way we can. I think I speak for everyone in Class 7 when I say that. You bet! I agree completely. We may all come from different walks of life, but this time, that can work for us. Exactly. We have something no one else does, and because of that, we can do things no one else can. And what kind of class would we be if we didn't take advantage of that to protect the people and things we love? As well as find our own answers to the questions we have looming over us. As Reen said, 
however big or small it is in the long run, we have a place in this war, and we have every intention of following it. Sounds like it'll be a pain, though. Eh, no biggie. We're class seven. Throw in a few of Reen's trademark speeches and we're raring to go. <laughs> Look at you kids. You all sound like you've really thought long and hard about this. <laughs> That's the class seven I'm proud to serve. And you guys aren't the only ones who feel that way. Everyone at Thor's has something to bring to the table. Remember the Academy's motto? Arise, O oh youth, and become the foundation of the world. Oh, yeah, that's right. That was what Principal Van Dyke said to us at the welcoming ceremony. The words of Dreykel's The Lionheart serve to inspire us to this day, it would seem. Of course. They ring as true as ever. <laughs> it's like you didn't even have to think about it. You guys just knew. Yeah, you should be proud of yourselves. And it's true that Thor students are scattered all over the country right now. But I'm sure that each and every one of them are fighting too, and they feel the exact same way that you guys do. I understand. Your Highness. Indeed. I figured you would have already given it some thought, but I wasn't expecting such a stirring conviction. But I think this at least settles the matter of what course to take. If you would do the honors, Captain. As you wish. We're about to do something neither side would ever expect us to do. We're going to entrust this ship to you. From here on out, the Courageous is yours to command as you see fit. What? What? Father, would you mind elaborating? <laughs> it means exactly what it sounds like. The operation of this ship will be left entirely to your discretion. I imagine your journey to make a difference in this war needs a home base to begin from. Well, yes, but... But then what will you do? We plan to disembark and make our way to the Western Provinces. Once there, we'll begin working with the 7th Armored Division and the other neutral forces in the region. The intention is to ensure that as few innocents as possible are harmed by this conflict. I was actually worried this airship might prove a bit too conspicuous to aid us in pursuing that goal. But with us headed west, we'd be leaving all of Eastern Erebonia in your hands. Um, wow. Uh, I see. That does make the most logical sense. Kinda. If we got the Courageous, we could give our third faction some real weight. Neither side could afford to ignore us. <laughs> I'm not even sure the Guild could come up with a plan this wild. Well, it's fair to say I've learned a lot from the way the Guild's members handle things, yourself included. Oh, and Alfin? Yes? I'd like to ask you to remain on board the Courageous as well. This ship is technically the property of the Arner household, fathers in particular. It should give them a certain freedom to act if they have concrete backing from a member of the Imperial family. <sighs> Be happy to! Henceforth, I, Princess Alfin Raisei Arnor, will guarantee the legitimacy of their actions. So do whatever you see fit to do. You have my full support. Thank you, Your Highness. Wow! We are truly honored to have you with us. No turning back now. Yeah, seriously. Please, leave Eastern Erebonia to us. We'll be counting on you. Huh. I'm looking forward to toasting your future successes.
I'm leaving you in charge of the Courageous' day-to-day -day operations. I don't doubt you'll make a fine acting captain. It would be an honor. This is just a little parting gift from me. It's always come in handy for me when I was in a pinch, so I hope it'll help you out too. Thanks, Toval. You've done a lot for us. It always felt like you were looking out for me, even when it came to my future. <laughs> Think nothing of it. You kids are the future, after all. But remember, this is where it starts getting serious. Get yourself through this war in one piece. Find something you want to dedicate your life to. And hey, if you ever decide you want to follow the same path Sarah and I did, you'll be welcomed with open arms, okay? <laughs> I'll be sure to give it some thought. Okay, okay. Knock it off with the scouting. Well then, it's time we bid you all a fond farewell for now. Chin up, Alfin. Counting on your charm to keep everyone motivated. May the goddess be with you. I look forward to the stories you'll have to tell when next we meet, Laura. Good luck, father. <laughs> <laughs> 